Carolyn Doobie here. Today I'm making a quick clock card. Yeah, that's a tongue twister for you. With this clock stencil that I designed for April Stencil Club. I've got that big clock on there and that's going to become the focal image on the card. I'm going to just pounce with sort of bionic hands here with acrylic black paint and a cosmetic sponge to cover the whole thing. I really like doing something like a card with a large stencil because I can usually cover the entire front of the card with one stencil and then pull out some elements of it, which is what I'm going to do with this. When it's all done, I'll have my black and white image there, which I need to let dry completely before I go on to the next step because it's going to involve watercolors and I don't want the black paint to smear. So now I'm going to color the whole clock in with a light yellow watercolor. I'm going to fill in the whole area of it, but then I'm going to add just a little bit of a shadow, a little bit of interest by coming in with a slightly darker yellow or orange color and putting that just around the edge of the circle gives me a little bit darker spot and a little bit lighter spot. And if I've got too much color or too much water on there, I just use a clean paper towel and blot some of it up. Watercolor is so forgiving in that way. I'm going to come in with a clean off my brush as best as I clean off a brush. And then I'm just going to put some bright green all around the edges of it. The next part is the tricky part for me is to let it dry because I have so little patience for things. But to keep myself busy while that dries, I'm going to make an envelope for it. So I'm going to pick one element off of the stencil and I'm going to use that to create sort of like a clock peeking up over the bottom of the envelope. Same way I did the card, I'm going to stencil it on with the black paint, let it dry as best I can, and then I'm going to come in with the watercolor and add some color to it. So pretty quickly I've got an entire card and matching envelope. The hardest part about this is waiting for it to dry. Thanks for joining me for my play today. If you've enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you subscribed to my YouTube channel or popped over to the blog and said hi.